This week, the cannabis will be booming in New Mexico. Starting Friday, anyone 21 and older can legally buy marijuana in the land of enchantment. ABC 7's Kate Beery explores the economic impact it's expected to have in the state. This is all finally coming to fruition. The grass is now greener in New Mexico. Now, there's a lot to learn about this plant. Especially for Hilda Chavez, a naturopathic doctor from Texas. I mean, I have been advocating for this for 40 years. She's invested tens of thousands of dollars into starting her commercial grow. These are all ice cream cake. These are just some of the 2,000 plants that belong to Aquizo Botanicals, and Hilda Chavez hopes to inspire female Hispanic growers to enter the male-dominated industry. It's just time for women to come into the industry. Uh, the men have have dominated it for, I don't know, 30 years. We're expanding so quickly that we're, oh, it's going to be crazy. In northern New Mexico, Ultra Health is the state's largest producer with 10 times the number of plants. According to the company, Ultra Health brought in 60 million in revenue last year, and a spokeswoman said they have now hired 350 employees across the state. It gets people back into the workforce, and it helps New Mexicans get back on their feet in a way, and we're putting more money into our state than ever before. But the company's owner lives in Arizona, and smaller growers criticize the outside influence. Any money that we make here in the state stays within our state. It's not being pumped out to any other states. We're, it all gets recycled back into our company. The New Mexico economy definitely needs to be diversified. Kelly O'Donnell is an economist who studies social policy. Increasing cannabis's role in the economy will be a good thing and will help with diversification, but comparing cannabis to oil and gas in the New Mexico economy is just is not a realistic comparison. Not even close. Cannabis is expected to bring in 50 million in new state revenue in 2022, according to the state's Cannabis Control Division. For comparison, oil and gas brought in 5.3 billion in state revenue in 2021, according to the industry. O'Donnell has published two reports on cannabis for medical and recreational use. Both were paid for by Ultra Health. In her 2016 study, she predicted out-of-state visitors will make up more than 40 percent of marijuana sales. Demand for cannabis in New Mexico will start to stabilize when more states uh, legalize it. So right now, states that have legalized recreational cannabis are benefiting from that demand that's flowing across the borders from other states, right? And here in New Mexico, we've got Texas right next door, and that's going to be a significant source of revenue for the state. You can see the terpenes. As a Texas native capitalizing on New Mexico law, I want to encourage more women to jump in now. Chavez encourages other minorities to turn this grass into cash. Kate Beery, ABC7. And this story was part of the Puente News Collaborative. Las Cruces might be the first city in New Mexico to legally sell marijuana for recreational use come Friday. Our Greenleaf hopes to be the first in the state to open its doors on Friday. The dispensary not wasting any time. It'll be opening to the public at 12.01 a.m.